This tutorial covers easy cutting and sewing of bell sleeve. This one in this picture is what I am going to explain in this tutorial. It has different variations, but this very one is the one that is fitted up and full towards the hem. You will want to know the whole process and I will not hesitate to share all of that with you in this tutorial. Hi creatives, I am Dima and you are welcome to another interesting tutorial. In this tutorial, I will share with you how to make a bell sleeve for this dress. This starts with a basic sleeve. If you do not know how to make a basic sleeve, then I will link it in the description so that you will see it. The length of this basic sleeve is 24 and a half and I will be using this for my bell sleeve. Now, having shown you the length, which is 24 and a half, you can make it longer. I took a level of 18 inches for where the fullness of this bell sleeve will start from. So having taken that, I'll use my pattern master to just go ahead and roll a horizontal line along that part. Sorry, it's not showing so visibly because my marker is getting faint, but don't worry, you will understand as I, you know, progress in this tutorial. So what I just did is to mark a slash line vertically. The next thing is to cut through the slash line, just as you can see me do, and then I'm cutting open the horizontal part of the line. That is the horizontal line that I drew earlier. So having done this, the next thing to do is just to go ahead and slash and spread. Okay, so I'll bring my fabric next and show you how to do this. To do this, I'll be working with chantilly lace, which I have already used for the body of the dress. Okay, this dress, I have the link to the whole tutorial of this dress. You know, I'll link it up in the description box so that you can watch it if you have not seen it. So here I'm about to spread this sleeve, okay, to get exactly what we want. Sorry, this place tore and... I will just have to use it like that, but amend it properly as I slash as I spread the pattern along the hem. So I'll be using my pin, my dressmaking pin, to pin this down. You will notice that I have spread it a little already, and I'll also spread this and pin. You will notice that as I spread it, the two lines are meeting at that middle point. Notice that that middle that I slashed it from the two parts of the spread sleeve are meeting at that middle okay so having said this this is two and a half spread that i have here note that you can spread it more than this i just have to go ahead and cut out my sleeve that is the next thing to do aside what i'm saying just listen to me and you will understand so this is how I did this. I cut it out. You can make your own sleeve to be longer, okay? If you want it to be longer, just go ahead and do that and it will still come out very beautifully. Beautiful. You can make it 25 and a half or even 26. It depends on how much, but I feel 25 and a half is okay. But I use 24 and a half, which is still very okay. Now, having done this, I have cut it out and you can see what the sleeve looks like. I'll go ahead and remove the dressmaking pins and then stitch close this place and also this place. So this is what I have. You, have, you now have to keep it right sides facing each other. You stitch this place and this other place. Okay. Now, when you do this, this is what you will get. I've closed up the two sides right now. And the next thing is to structure the hem. I used crinoline to structure the hem of this sleeve, okay? I used two inches crinoline. But if you want to just hem it like this, you are free to do that. But that crinoline will give it a structure and I feel is really more beautiful with the structure. But feel free to do what you prefer. So you can see the different inches of crinoline. This one is three and this one is two in white and this is two inches in black and this is one inch crinoline in black. But what I finally used was the white crinoline. I used the white crinoline to finish up this because the black was showing so much through the lace. But if you can get this color in crinoline, feel free to use sea green if you can get it. But I used white 
because it gave me exactly what I wanted. Now, this is what we have. We are going to be stitching this crinoline along this round part of the sleeve. So when you measure, I just use the crinoline to measure out the quantity I want. I just added one inch to the amount that I got. Okay, I cut two of it for the two sleeves and I have to remove every other crinoline there and continue working with this one. So the next thing to do is just to cut out a sort of bias that will be used to close up the rough edge of the crinoline so that it will not touch the skin for any reason and irritate the skin if you know what i mean so having done this i'll just cut it out as you can see me do and then cut it just as you can see me do aside what i'm saying just watch what i'm doing and you will understand everything i did i folded this in by half inch there watch closely okay this is the length i want don't worry i'll show you the dimensions it's actually three and a half inches by two and a half inches okay so you place your crepe fabric like this or any other fabric you're using fold it in by half on the two edges and stitch it down that is what i did so this is what i got here you can see how i stitched it so you are going to fold it once and fold it in again and stitch down okay like this you have covered the tip of the crinoline so this is the dimension three and a half by two and a half so after doing this i'm going to do that for the other ends of the crinoline so when i'm done with that i'll just go ahead and fix it watch how i am going to fix it i angled that part of the seam allowance okay so you're going to place your crinoline like this and stitch around you know round the hem of that sleeve so having stitched it this is what i have you can see what i have you can see how i stitched it and how this other end is rough so now i'm going to cover the second end the same way i covered the first okay so i left a little space there so that i can stitch it all through so having done this this is what i have so i had to just go ahead and stitch it all down Having done this, I will now push it in like this and then hem, stitch it. I'm going to stitch it at that edge and hem it round. That is all I did and then I'll iron. After doing that, this is what I got and you can see how beautiful the sleeve is looking. It's so gorgeous. Trust me, I said video did not do justice to those beautiful sleeves. So now that I'm done, I'm going to repeat the same for the second sleeve and then attach it to the dress. This was my end result and you can see how gorgeous it's looking. Try it out and let me know what you got. Welcome to my new subscribers and do well to subscribe and also turn on your notification bell to be the first to know each time I upload my mind-blowing videos. And to my old subscribers, you're welcome back. Love you all and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.